highest amount of money if you can share someone has paid you for custom content so i see you talk about this whole thing called muscle worship online what exactly is muscle worship so it's masturbation illegal in prison i i don't think it's illegal in prison it does go to one corner and like maybe no let anybody know you know <laughs> i think as long as they are not disturbing anyone yeah yeah because you know because yeah. you know you're in the cell yeah, you know, yeah. you see me there's like some other uh, guys there wow. so maybe like you find a private time you know you went off in the corner by yourself privilege, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of the Singaplex After Hours podcast. And today we got a huge guest with us, Titus Low. Yeah, thanks for having me here. All right, man, Titus, nice to meet you. Why do some people pay to see you pee and poop, Titus? Um, I'm not really sure about this, but I guess. What is going on with these people? No, actually, I, I do receive this kind of requests. Yeah. This kind of thing. So um. I guess to each uh, people who have their own fetish. So, so actually, I don't, I don't really judge them. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. as a content creator, freedom to love whatever. Because our only friends like <laughs> we uh like cater to what the fans want to see, etc. Right, right. But I try to like uh not make it too obscene now yeah, nowadays. Yeah, right, right. And like um, for this request, I I do see like the price and everything, but yeah, I yeah. I don't really uh follow every request. You know, depends course, on my comfort course. level. So people have limits. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> limits. Okay. How does it feel to be the only? Only fans created in Singapore who have gone to prison. During the whole process, I learned about my mistakes and how to be a better creator and a better person. So why is everyone so obsessed whether you drop the soap or not in prison? Dropping the soap is kind of like a online slang, right? Online yeah, slang, yeah, yeah, yeah. but actually, it's a I don't really try to like uh, make a joke of it because okay. in because in uh, America it's uh, not a joke. I don't think that is really the case for uh, my experience. Uh, yeah, it's, most it's very of, safe. Yeah. Most pres- most uh, inmates are not really into uh, sexual assault in the yeah, 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 because yeah. there are like, cameras everywhere and like, like the staff there. Oh, the be, prison staff are very strict. Uh, they will extend their prison stay. Yeah, <laughs> they, might, they might even get caning for uh, oh. se- uh, sexual assault. So most people won't oh, that's, that's quite serious, right? Yeah, so like for my case, I was in like the short sentence. So I, okay. so uh, you don't have to worry so much about. Dropping on soap, everything. Yeah, it's yeah, quite yeah. safe there. Quite safe. Yeah, based on my experience. So guys, if you're <laughs> heading to prison, don't worry. It's gonna be very safe. Do your time and get Do out. Do your time yeah. and get out. What were some of the positive sides of going to prison? During this period, I spent most of my time uh, reading books for every work- workout, just meditating. I'll try to like think of the bigger picture. Mm. Kind of calm myself and do things slowly, you know. Don't be too rash. Like everything. Batman in prison. Did you still manage to stick to your fitness habits while in prison? Uh, so you know in prison, like, it's like a... Uh, the size of the cell is like probably about 100 square feet or lesser. Yeah, it's about like, yeah, yeah. like this. Uh. So like, it's not like that, that, not like that this big. Podcast room, right? Yeah, it's just not that big. <laughs> and like, uh, only thing you can do is like body weight push-ups and like some... Because uh, okay, okay, okay. there's a pill there. There's a pill, a uh, box of like... There's a box, you know, they give you. A box? So the box, like a uh, plastic box. Like to, put, like to put your clothes and everything. Oh, like okay. a box they standardize to give every prisoner. So like, uh, remove the, the stuff inside and like put water to like okay. make it as a weight. To like, uh, to like, to <laughs> yeah, like, so like, like a boss. It's like box shots, stuff. <laughs> like, okay, you know, okay. some uh, innovative workouts. Innovative I mean, workouts, that's the only right? Thing you can do, like, DIY workout. prison workout tips right here from Titus. Actually, Titus's most work. prisoners uh, do this kind of uh, like this tower, tower workout. Tower, tower workout, like, right? Like one guy will hold the, the tower, one guy will hold the tower down. So like one can do bicep, one can do tricep. Really? Yeah. So I just hear like these kind of things to like try yeah. and work out. Yeah. By the time you leave prison, you'll be a beast. <laughs> People were apparently pirating your content for two hundred dollars. Was it frustrating or flattering? This is like the first time I'm hearing people are selling my content for two hundred dollars. I mean, it's quite yeah. very it's entrepreneurial. Like, it's, it's very interesting <laughs> because people are reselling my content. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah correct. That, like, like other like, people before, right? Yeah, position. Yeah. So like basically, I like, I create this content and people resell it. Actually, I I didn't know people were pirating. Oh, but your fans I, told you. Like, no, actually, this is the first time I'm seeing this. I just heard okay, about okay, some okay. like. Uh, some people are selling them for cheap, you know. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. I didn't know that people were selling this, <laughs> so I, I guess well, that's um, it's a cre- very strange way of flattery. So I guess don't just support the original creator, yeah, you know. Right, right. If you want to see more sexy content, you gotta gotta pay, guys. Gotta pay. Has this whole experience made you more prudent with your money as an entrepreneur? So actually, doing the whole court case, like like almost one year, I had uh, a job income. So actually, I mm. I lost a. Uh, because my main source of income was in OnlyFans. Yeah. That's also, also didn't withdraw much of the money from OnlyFans. Mm. So of course I had to change my lifestyle 
mm. the downgrade as well as like uh, think of new businesses to like sustain my uh, mm. expenses you know because I, I had to pay for rent etc right. so actually I started um, a new business I started an ice cream cafe right. as to venture out F&Bs and such you know so I, I okay. kind of cut down my expenses fly. yeah and like try to uh, be more try and have more income stream okay. like a lesson learned you know so it guys, hurts a lot for like the first few months of not having a standard of income, income you know, yeah. Yeah. So guys, diversification. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. So I see you talk about this whole thing called muscle worship online. What exactly is muscle worship? Okay, this okay. So this is like based yeah. on my experience only, yeah. But I, I don't really know much about this. So actually um have muscle worship is like basically a gym gym, gym slang, you know, like like some uh, some guys would like pay there are guys like uh, some guys like muscle, you know. Okay. So they will pay uh money like to kind like to touch a muscle and this kind of thing. Really? You know, like worship you, like worship, just be yeah. obsessed. So actually, it's a uh, it's a bit weird. It kind of draws okay, the yeah, area. Yeah. Okay. Like you don't want to confuse a uh, muscle worship and like and like sexual pleasure, you know. So like got some difference. But not too sure about this. I just tell about some uh, of my bodybuilder friends that get get um paid for like you no know, get requests to be paid. Get requests really? to from long clients to pay them for muscle worship but I don't really do this kind of thing because I think it's pretty weird yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't been through that yet <laughs> well those of you hustlers better start going to the gym now who do you think has a harder job mm. only fans or like real like major mainstream porn stars oh, I think porn stars are is a, have a harder job because yeah. they kind of like uh, they're like kind of signed to a talent agency in a way oh, yeah. they're not independent not independent so, so actually they are, have to like follow more yeah. I have to act out everything I have to mm. be I have to follow the script everything yeah, there'll yeah, be yeah, more yeah. production quality mm. but she's uh, quite impressive mm. yeah. doing, doing porn is, is quite tough actually all the lights <laughs> and like the performance issue would be yeah, tough yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> stressful, <laughs> yeah, stressful, stressful it's quite stressful yeah. actually <laughs> with all the lights and the camera crew in front camera of you right, but yeah. she only fans I guess actually more some porn stars I, I know that they transition to only fans because they oh, okay. can't get like their own uh Audience, they, and they have their phone any... following, and they yeah. So they kind of like oh, yeah. be their own agent instead of like under agency. Yeah, yeah. Freedom. Yeah. The internet means freedom. Does the internet make people more kinky, or do all people inherently have some like weird fetish that they are embarrassed about? I think it's a. This is a kind of like a personal thing. Mm. So um. Is is a I think everyone has their own kind of king and fetish. Okay. It's just whether they want to share it or not share it. Yep. So actually, in OnlyFans, uh, like while I'm doing my content, so actually most of my subscribers they are uh, anonymous. Mm. So actually, that's they go the, crazy, really. So they do have they hide through hide behind behind the internet. Ah, so they can okay, ask okay. anything they want. Yeah. So I guess that's like the whole uh, appeal appeal of OnlyFans compared to like the pop the regular pop side, pop, yeah. etc. Okay. So you can get see that creator you want do certain stuff you know uh, like without okay, okay, okay. having like imagine VS or Instagram DM there'll be a bit more time. yeah yeah that'll be difficult right so I guess like the whole uh, anonymous thing is pretty good for this kind of uh, yeah yeah exploration kind of, yeah. guys exploration if the internet didn't yeah. exist right hypothetically what job would you be doing and why if the internet didn't exist so I wouldn't be taking much as much photographs <laughs> so I guess uh, I'll be do business etc yeah okay, okay. so actually like, my, my parents had their own business and everything okay. so actually uh, I I guess that that's like, like a, my, my other path a regular yeah. entrepreneur yeah. path yeah. what is uh, Titus Lowe's favourite superhero favourite superhero yeah. yes okay, I'll say Iron Man because I, mean, I, I think he's uh, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, cool yeah, and everything yeah. all the tech all the tech uh, right yeah, I, can't like, I can't like this kind of tech and very yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's an entrepreneur, he's a he's a yeah. tech guy, he's a he's genius, a right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all like the cool stuff. It's the house, it's the cars and all the suits. Right. What are some of your hopes for the local content creation scene? I don't sound anything like okay. uh, offensive, but I guess I hope that the local content creation scene will be more um not so regulated by IMD as much. Oh uh, right. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh because like freedom of speech is it's a bit uh, regulated. Yeah. Right, right. So okay, I, okay. So actually creating content is uh, quite repeated here in Singapore. Yep, yep, yep. There are a limitation on what you can do here. Mm, mm, so mm, I guess um hope that it'll be more um hope creators are given more space or like more freedom to like to express, to express their, their creativity, their creativity in, and also answer field. to what the market 
requirements. Yeah, you can't get mad. I can say it. Yeah, because yeah. most of the content has been repeated here in Singapore. If you see, like the there's a limitation of what you can do. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true, true. Um, do you think Singapore prisons should open up a wing for tours and staycation as a social deterrent for crime to experience for people to experience prison life as a social experiment? Actually, from what I heard from my friends, because I I went to prison almost for two weeks already, mm. so some of them were talking to me. Actually, some of the the second school kids that have been tours of like going to prison. I mean, like like oh. I mean, like the they tour them to the single prison the services, bring them to, like those young boys. So like yeah. they would like not be a naughty kid in school. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I guess that's that's one thing. Yeah. I think it's like you can start like a. Uh, some prison tour say uh, these are like the criminals that like, after you're ah, 21 okay, you'll okay. be, be prison if you do some uh, crime you know yeah, yeah. so I guess that kind okay, of like okay. uh, yeah, yeah. that's uh, give them an uh, avenue to experience I guess like uh, educating uh, the educating youth. the youth like yeah, don't what, do uh, what and, happens and, and yeah, yeah. Legal, you know yeah, yeah. because you're in prison uh, it's not best experience yeah, because yeah. the punishment is like to stay away from the society mm, you get to uh, isolation yeah. chat with your family members mm. and the time passes super slowly there and time passes super slowly there so, <laughs> time so, super slow. so, like so, inception so prison level no, slow I, I don't think there'll be a <laughs> I don't think it's a good experience for anybody. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Stay yeah. out of uh, crime, guys. Uh, if you could commit one crime without the risk of going to prison, what would that be and why? Uh, I'm not sure this is a good question. <laughs> but if I, I could, uh, I'll guess the reason why I went into prison. Sorry, the what? I guess that, that would be the reason why I went into prison. Why you the prison in the first place, yeah, right? So the I same thing, right? Same yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. So you mentioned having access to a tablet while in prison to write e-letters mm. to your family was the only form of internet access yeah. you had. So that that's really the only form of internet access? Yeah, let me share a bit more about what they gave you in prison. So okay. they give you an e-tablet which you can use like 90 minutes a day. So this tablet is like, it's kind of like a, a already pre-loaded, uh, pre, pre, um, how is it called that thing? They uh, make it in a way that you can't access certain apps. You know? ah, okay, so it's okay, like their okay, own okay. kind of software. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. can like have like letters, yeah. uh, notes, and like email is like, it's, like, it's, it's not Gmail, so it's like basically their uh, own email. Their own email server. And their own like PDF of news, everything. Ah, so they'll okay, filter okay. everything. Yeah. There are some of their games there. But ah, it's like okay. there's no internet, so like you can't really access like YouTube yeah, or like. Yeah. Or the internet, you know, can't it's see, more, you can't yeah. see uh, hot girls on TikTok. <laughs> you, see, you, can't, you can't do anything, it's just like the it's just like yeah. the pictures, no videos. Okay, okay, okay. So it's just like very filtered. Okay, okay, very, yeah, but, uh, very curated. Uh, but the e letters you can write, like based on my experience, you can write uh, four times a month. A month. So it's not a lot actually. Oh, okay. basically, like, oh four, that's very little actually. It's basically like four times a month. Uh. Wow. However, uh, you can have like mem- uh, your contacts text you every day. Okay. So okay. I think that's like. Okay. But at least there's yeah. some um, contact with your family. Yeah, right? I guess. That's great. But inside, uh, when, when I'm inside, or check every day, like whether I get a letter or not, you know. Oh, so you're inside check every day. Yeah. Because if there's something I don't get, I'll be quite disappointed, you know. Yeah, yeah true. Because you, that's like what you expect and keep going. But I guess that's the good and bad as well. Because some, some people are in there for like a year, they'll keep checking every day. Inside. So I guess oh, okay, uh, you should like uh, maintain also, like not be too obsessed with like Men- the mentally. outside world yeah, when you're inside. Uh, true, yeah, true, true, true. that's a. Have okay. like the mentality, mentality mm. to stay away from Stay away the, from like To keep you sane To obsess, uh, yeah, to yeah. obsess about it right Do you think you would be more adversely affected mentally If your prison sentence was longer? Uh, I think uh, definitely For sure Definitely <laughs> yeah because uh, I have uh, commitments outside Especially mm. uh, my wife is pregnant right now mm. So uh, I think if I were to be outside longer, I'm not sure if you would be okay yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, and so, uh, about like commitments outside, because yeah. when I'm inside, I still have to uh, settle things on the outside. Mm, mm. So, I guess that would affect me in multiple ways mm. possible. Such so, okay, a hopefully, yeah. I, will, I won't uh, go through the experience again. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. We wish Titus a safe uh, content creator <laughs> journey. How is the coach holding out in prison? Because <laughs> I, as you mentioned, you met him. Yeah, right? so actually, I we were both sentenced to like the short sentence, okay. which was like under uh, one year. Okay. So most of like the small crimes will be sentenced there. In the same. same in the way. same kind of like a uh, hold, uh, holding holding unit, like, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So um, so actually he's born out because he has he's like sentenced to like eight months prison. Oh, that's long. Yeah. Yeah. I think he served for most half already. Wow. Yeah. So like uh, he's. He's bought now, but he's a uh, pretty alright because he's, he's been there for some time already. So when when there, he's like he kind of knew everyone there already, okay. and like uh, wow. I think he's uh he's alright, but uh, I think he'll explain it next time when he, when he comes out, no, about his whole story. Yeah, hopefully we have the yeah. next on this uh podcast.
right? When when he's when he's out. When he's out. I can tell he's quite a, uh, kind of regrets his action as well. Yeah. Cause it's a, it's not, a, eight months is a very long time. Yeah, eight yeah. months is a long, long. He told me that he kind of regrets cause it affects his career and everything. Because of the court case, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's not a very good experience. Yeah, yeah. It waited almost two years for to be sentenced, so almost three wow, years. Wow, that's a yeah. whole ordeal. Yeah, yeah, so it told me like since twenty nineteen until now. So it kind of like oh, uh, yeah, yeah. delayed his life and yeah, everything. Oh, living under the shadow because of, of, a, uh, of a case, right? Scandal, yeah. yeah, yeah so he yeah. can't regret everything true, also. True. Yeah. So guys, uh, next time you invite him next time. Yeah, yeah <laughs> stay away from it. the horny. So if you were the kosh or or if you you put yourself in his shoes, like how will you rebuild your life after prison? Or how do you think he's going to re- rebuild his life after prison? Uh, if I were Dikosh. Yes, uh, if you were Dikosh. Okay, like, so... Like, as a creative person yourself. Uh, I will guess, I would, firstly, I would stay away from temptations yeah. because like, uh, that's what brought in, that's mm-hmm. what brought me into prison regardless mm-hmm. of like, uh, sex, money or, yeah. or greed, everything. I will try to stay away from that. Uh, not be tempted by any temptations and like, try to, uh, See what I have that moment that I can work on that slowly. Mm. Of course, I'll slowly introduce myself back into society mm. afterwards. Yeah, uh. yeah. Because yeah. they want to crack my rehabilitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends on crack my idea as yeah, well. Yeah, true, true, true. See, society will be accept- accepting of me as a yeah, person. Yeah, true, yeah. true, true. Yeah. It'll take time, but he'll get there. We're sure. So, are conjugal visits with your partner allowed while in prison? Uh. I think this is like based on some uh, US show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Prison Break? Yeah, Prison Break. Yeah, Prison Break. That's where I did my research for this podcast. Okay, so actually in Prison Break, they had these like conjugal visits. But I think in Singapore, uh, no. But even in face to face, there's like a, still a big wall. A barrier, a big barrier right? there. Yeah, you can't really have funny contact here. Yeah. There's some prisoners who are like, there for like years and stuff. Yeah, it's going to be it's tough. A, you don't get this kind of uh, you went off in the corner by yourself privilege, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why Titus do you think the doors in prison are blue in colour uh, so so actually in single prison it's not like the bars you know that's yeah, like you can yeah. see the outside yeah. it's basically like a blue a door, door and right. like white wall white wall oh, yeah. very clean basically <laughs> you don't really can, you can't see the outside so I guess the blue door is kind of matchy to like the prison in the unit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Singapore. Doors give you some hope of the sky. Yeah, I think it's a optimistic color. Optimistic color. How would you rate the interior design of the prison? You know, I did you will tear down everything. Yes, you scrape down everything. Right. After you scrape down, that's clean. Just clean. Then it's done. Already. That's the right? so, like the okay. So like the ID is like basically like the bare minimum. Yeah, yeah. So ID inside, just uh. A concrete floor. So she in prison in Singapore prison you don't get a bed. I mean that's the whole bad experience, like, you don't sleep well. Yeah, that hurts right, a lot. Right. Mm. And uh and you don't get pillow as well. No so, pillow in so prison. So she did I slept more on my book. So, so, I, I, so use, I use the book as a pillow. No shit. So it's like very hard, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I, I decosh did eight months, right? So, so eight months with the, the book. So so it's not a very good experience. What's the most crazy thing a fan has done for you? I, actually, I respect all my fans. Okay. So I guess the most uh, crazy thing I've seen a fan done was that this guy was uh, coming to my shop almost every day. He was like waiting what, for the, me. The ice cream shop? Yeah, so actually I opened really? the shop. Really? So for like the first month or two, he, he was like, here almost every day waiting for me. Really? Like taking photo of me every day. Because I, I was coming down like uh, quite often for the first month. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so he, he, I was seeing like there almost every time. Wow. <laughs> like, <supportive. laughs> yeah. So Stalker I think, vibes I think that's <laughs> crazy. I think it's a uh, very... Uh, Supportive fan, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, well, at, at least you yeah. know your work is being uh, well appreciated. Received, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Highest amount of money, if you can share, someone has paid you for custom content. Actually, uh, I haven't really do any uh, custom custom content yet. I won't really haven't really done gone out of the way to do a uh, custom content for someone. Yeah. Because I haven't uh received a price that I've been like. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> because uh. To do something. Everyone has a price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Example, yeah. I had to go out of way to uh create to that, create that, that content, content for you, right? you know, yeah, yeah, and to yeah, share yeah. with you. I guess that would like uh answer the price. Then okay, then should I really do it? You know. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, I guess, so guys, I guess to each of every creator, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Still a chance for you, right? <laughs> Titus has not done a custom content for anyone yet, so you know, DM him, like, like and subscribe. subscribe. What were some of the books you read in prison? So actually, uh, in prison, I I don't really get to choose. So they they just give me whatever books. Uh, <laughs> you don't get to choose the books, right? I mean, I choose like, the books. Here are the books that like. So they ask me for English or. Yeah. So actually, yeah, luckily I got all English. Yeah. Because we had like some novels, some uh, fictional fiction. Well, you get like three like, little pics or something. No, actually not like, because <laughs> some like, like some uh, storyline. Like, I was reading yeah. like at least like uh, one book every 
1.5 days. Become the most <laughs> intellectual person after yeah. this prison stay. Right, so now would you say like books are your new form of escape? I guess that's something I found. Uh, let's say I have free time, I'll read book, you know. I say mm. I'll be traveling. I, I think this would be like my new uh, thing uh, when I, every time I travel or like free time, yeah, I'll book, read right, book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because like previously I don't read book at all. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a book at home. You yeah, don't yeah. have a last yeah, right. like, I don't even buy books kind of thing. Right. So it's a pretty whole new thing, you know, I have to adapt right, to this. Yeah. True, true. I guess that's like... That's, uh, a, that's one of the positives, uh, yeah. I guess. Get to like uh, take some time off of social media and like, mm, the online world. To go deep on a piece of content. Yeah. Right. Were there like gangs or groups of people hustling in prison like the movies? Actually, uh, let's say before you enter prison, like, uh, they will do like a full strip down on you. Oh, okay. To check on you, get tattoos and everything. Yeah. So I think they are quite sure on the gang stuff. But actually, yeah. I do think they are like, like internal term gangs here, like the French gang and everything. Uh. Oh, okay. So actually, they are like certain groups of people, you know. They form the groups. But uh, uh, for fights wise, like, I, I didn't really see much fights, fights right? in my area. Maybe okay. in a different area. Because my area was like the short sentence. So most oh, people, very tame. they want to like, let's get out, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, They're not like repeat offender. Yeah. Right. So actually in prison, if you fight, like, there'll be like a punishment cell. Oh, okay. So actually, I heard that that's like the worst. That's the worst. So actually okay. when you go to the cell, the lights will be on 24-7. The lights like, will be on 24-7. Like, 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 like very bright white light. Oh. Like for like three days straight. With heavy metal music. No, so basically, there's no music also. No music. No music. You, yeah. can't, you, you can't exercise. And then they'll monitor you very often. Wow. So it's like they observe you more and everything. Ah, I see, so I see, that's I see. all you can do is just sleep there. Yeah, and the like food they give you is like blended worse, food. Even worse. They blend the food. Yeah. Like the same food they give you, they blend it, then serve to you. Oh, no. So it's, <laughs> top, it's like not food. Yeah. No, yeah. I imagine like all the rice, then one fish cake and cabbage, they blend it for you. And <laughs> I got, I got so, so I think that's like, uh, that's like not a very, uh, that's like the. Yeah, yeah. Be good. It's, it's not chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not chill. It's not chill. You, you can't even sleep there. Can't even sleep. Lights are on. Wow. Yeah. And you don't have books, you know. So if you could only have one or the other for the rest of your life, what would it be? Books or sex? <laughs> yeah. I will choose like uh sex because like if I if I choose books like yeah. I'll just be a nerd, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I'll be like I'll, I'll learn everything. Maybe you'll be the one writing the books. Yeah. Right, right. Only fans is now seen as the new gold rush for I mean good looking content creators, mm. right? What advice do you have for aspiring creators? I guess the first advice I have is stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble, right? <laughs> That's what yeah. I do. Yeah, if not, you'll be sleeping on a book and not a pillow. Now I'm going to do a segment called Complete the Following mm. Sentences. The internet is one big. One big network for everyone to connect together. <laughs> Mobile phones are in need of. Uh, good users. Good users, yes. Not, not naughty, naughty people out there stealing content, right? Yeah, don't resell my content. Yeah, don't resell content. So if your life were a movie, how would you want it to end? Probably in the castle that says happily ever after. <laughs> yeah, in the castle that says <laughs> right. happily ever after. Yeah, I, I guess With not, your wife, not... kid and dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the, a dream fairy tale. Yeah, yeah, correct, yeah. correct, correct. What the world needs now is... Uh, progress and peace. Progress and peace. Right. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we need more peace. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. And that's it. We've reached the end of the podcast. Oh, Thanks, Titus, thank for, you. for Thanks coming for to the me. podcast. And remember to like, like, like and subscribe. subscribe.